Hi there, I'm Tim Woods, Extension Professor in the Department of Ag Economics here at UK. Wanted to start out by providing a little history of the uh, CSA voucher program here at the University of Kentucky. Uh, it really started uh, back in uh, 2015, even a little bit before, uh, looking at uh, some of the different innovations that were taking place with CSA around the country, having had an opportunity with uh, a USDA project looking nationally at CSA uh, projects in the state of Wisconsin where they were uh, uh, implementing a uh, CSA uh, a program connected with their employers that was connected also with their insurance uh, 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 companies. Uh, this program uh, uh, that was implemented through the Wisconsin Fair Share uh, Coalition at that time uh, uh, was a, quite a striking program and it was impacting a lot of farms uh, in the area and we were thinking we could potentially adapt this program to our university setting here uh, in Kentucky. As we uh, looked to adapt that program, there were several things that we wanted to uh, especially bring a focus on. And uh, one of the things that, that we felt was going to be important was to identify an employer that was self-insured, that uh, had uh, uh, direct uh, incentive to really pay close attention to what were at that, at that time uh, rapidly rising insurance uh, and wellness uh, care costs. Uh, but also trying to connect with an employer that was doing some innovative things around wellness. And uh, we had those partners here in our uh, health and wellness program at the University of Kentucky. And so talking with them, setting up a, uh, a pilot program, getting some initial grant funding that allowed us to uh, develop a pilot program uh, that would allow us to set up a test and control group, collect a lot of uh, pre-data, post-CSA data uh, that would help us to measure impact. And so in 2015, launching that uh, pilot program, uh, that uh, enabled us to collect some really important data uh, to be able to share with our UK health and wellness partners and with our uh, partners at the UK uh, benefits office and uh, immediately seeing a lot of really uh, impressive uh, impacts. Uh, we started out with a $200 voucher uh, program, and so the voucher uh, uh, system that was set up was basically allowing the employee to, uh, uh, as soon as they were identified as an eligible employee, could upfront pay that $200 toward the CSA farm uh, upfront. Slightly different from a rebate program that would be one where you actually purchase the the CSA share, turn in those receipts and get a rebate back from, say, an insurance company. Uh, the voucher uh, program continued as a pilot program through 2016, continuing to collect some additional uh, uh, data. Uh, at that time, uh, we had uh, expanded them to 200 uh, shares uh, across the university. The University of Kentucky is a big employer, and so as you can imagine, uh, from the point of view of some of our folks in benefits and the health and wellness, they really wanted to get some validation of the value of this program uh, first before opening it up. And so the first uh, few years of implementing this program uh, really uh, involved uh, kind of a careful growth uh, uh, program. And we implemented a lottery system that uh, employees could enter into uh, this lottery that would allow them to become uh, eligible to receive a $200 voucher uh, caused a lot of anxiety among some of our uh, employees, as you might imagine. Uh, so by uh, 2019, as we continued to collect these data, uh, just became more and more uh, apparent uh, the wide benefits that were being realized by our uh, employees, both in terms of uh, perceptions of wellness, uh, uh, awareness and perception and engagement in the local food community, uh, and even in terms of uh, uh, early evidences of uh, impacts on health claims, uh, seeing a lot of really positive uh, benefits that led our uh, UK benefits office to 
uh, by that time, 2019, to open the program up to a uh, to become just a general benefit that any employee could uh, participate in. Uh, the program continued to expand uh, from that time to uh, now start to engage other uh, employers and working with the Kentucky Farm Share Coalition and the partner farms that were involved with that uh, was another really important uh, mechanism uh, to that. So uh, today the uh, program has continued to expand to uh, be available to uh, eligible retirees. Uh, it's, it's reached out to a wider uh, network of employees that are parts of uh, the extension community out and around the state. And uh, we continue to look for innovative ways to expand the program through uh, peer promotion uh, initiatives, through collaborations with other uh, partners in the university, in other colleges, and uh, uh, continue to uh, expand the base of farms as well that are participating in this uh, program uh, as well. That brings us really up to where we are today and uh, just see a lot of uh, continued new opportunities to uh, build this program out and, and develop these uh, resources and values and support both for our employees as a benefit uh, but also for our farms as they're expanding their CSA opportunities.